Hey guys, it's your lady Shani Slay. I'm back with another video. This video is gonna be about you, okay? People cannot follow God because you are the light that's shining into their world. People cannot be the matrix because of your presence. You are so abundant and you are the light for these people. So they have to resist with the they have to resist the reality that you bring to them like they cannot resist you because you are so powerful and you are so gorgeous and just you're just you're just that person that has the best um you have the best um vibes and stuff like that and these people they want to conquer you they want to conquer your flesh and because you're such a beautiful and nice person. Um, they they have a hard time fighting their temptation because of you. You are, you're like the angel for them. You're the angel that they need in their life. And this is, um, this is not a positive thing. You should, you have to run away from these people because they will try to, um, they will try to, they will try to basically like conquer your flesh and they will conquer your um they will they will change you into evil because they um they go against everything that you um you try to do positively and every time you try to follow the bible they will try to um, bring you down and make you feel like you you need to um commit these sins in this universe because of them and they they want you to feel like you you are doing a bad job and that the bible is not real and that god is not real so do not believe these people because god is real okay welcome to oak air international airport and god is watching for your safety please god use extra caution while loading and unloading so, luggage please do not stand in the roadway Make Thank sure, you for your cooperation. Make sure you get to ignore these people and do not fall in these traps that these people are trying to send you down because you will fall in the in the pit of hell with these people that's trying to um, get you to go in the wrong direction. Um, even if it's even if it's hell on earth, bad things are gonna start to happen in your life because God is watching you. And um, you do not want to please the flesh over God because you will go through hell on earth, and you will go through you will go through hell after earth. So, in order to in order to test these people's temperature, you will get around them, and if their temperature is not matching and aligning with God, then you just need to let them go and just go in your own direction because. You don't want to be um, tempted to these um, sins and these worldly things. And um, these people, they will try to um, put into the world that they're such a positive person and a good vibe and all this other stuff. But in the midst of everything, they're just really conquered by the devil and they just don't see it. They see everybody else as they're conquered by the devil because they won't do what they want and they won't get you to fall into the, the trap of the flesh and the sins that they they want to commit and these people are these people are feeling so good because they they don't know that the the, the um, world is a test for you so god is putting these good things in front of you such as uh lust and sex and um fornication and adultery because he wants to see if you're gonna fall for these things that you feel good about, and even though it's in the Bible, you want to, you're gonna ignore them. So what God God is gonna to try to do is see if when you fall for this evil wickedness in the world, even though it's even though it's you can see it doesn't mean that you should actually touch it. So that's the word that I want to give you guys. 
yeah so do not fall into these traps and do not make you not make let people make you feel bad for falling for not falling into their trap because you're going to conquer way more by living up to the word of god and showing these trying to show these people that they should do the same thing and sometimes they won't accept it so just let them fall in, in the pit of hell where they belong or let them learn on their own because it's no need to try to cast your pearls along swine. And these people, these people may, may may have a larger bank account than you. They may look better than you. They may, you know, have more nicer things than you. But do not let that stuff fool you because that does not matter. And even if it does matter to you, you're gonna get these things because you're doing what God wants you to do. So you not having these things in the present moment do not let that fool you because that's what the devil wants is to is to fool you by putting these things in front of your face and these people with this stuff so it can make you feel like oh i need to do what they're doing but in the end of the day you need to do what god wants you to do because that's is god's test for you is to see where you fall into this wickedness and this evil and this lust and, and and all the bad things of the world if you watch movies you will see that it's a perfect car that you want and this car is when you get in this car it's going to be the car that crashes and, and that malfunctions because it's a test sometimes sometimes people set things up to look so beautiful and so good but at the end of the day these things are meant to cause wickedness into your life and cause you to go to hell with all the other people that follows the devil so just make sure that you stay on your track because you're doing a good job and do not let anybody fool you into falling into the the track of doing evilness evilness things that god is against if you do these things you are evil to god so you do not want god to be evil to you if you want if you want god to be loving and caring for you you have to do these things that he wants you to do and not fall for this false reality that people are trying to give you and that this world is trying to show you because those things are evil and wicked People are evil. No matter what somebody tries to tell you that they don't do and that they don't like about what other people do, they're still doing that stuff, guys. They still do that stuff behind closed doors and um, they don't want anybody to see it. But if somebody was to really expose them, they would be down there. They would be down bad because they are misleading people and. Um, when people really see the real them, they're going to, they're going to go down. They're going to go down. Like people are not going to like these people anymore. So. Welcome to O'Hare International Airport. For your safety, please use extra caution while loading and unloading luggage. Please do not stand in the roadway. Hey, sorry guys, but yes, do not fall into these traps because. They will, they will cause you to go down to hell with them. Even though they don't look like they're going to hell, they're, they're going to hell. Because they will not change. No matter how old they get, no matter how far in life they get, no matter how much money they have, and how what nice cars they have, and clothes, and jewelry, they're still doing evil and wicked things behind closed doors. And that's not right with the Most High. So... Do not fall into the trap with these people just to feel the lust and the the urge to have these material things. And do not do wicked things to gain material, guys, because those things are going to crash. You, you, you need to do things that God wants you to do and follow his word and his promises in order to get these things so that way they last and they would stand. Um, yeah, so I've been taking a journey and I've been studying people because I want to know the truth, right? So I ran into these people and they look so clean and so nice 
and they always talk positive and most of the time they talk negative but they don't realize that I can see right through that like I can see I can see all this the things they're doing behind closed doors so they will never get the point they will never you know, they will never get why they feel the way they feel. That's because they are um, still doing things that God does not approve of. And they feel mad every day because... I'm sorry, I was out in the cold, but... Yeah, they feel mad because they... Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. They want to do all the evil things and they don't want to do what's right so they can't fight the urge like they they have to do something they have to be mad because when they do evil things bad stuff happens to them and that causes their world to crash that causes every game that they have accomplished to crash and they get irritated because people want to do the right thing and they want you to follow behind them just like the devil just like the devil wants wants you to fall into all the negative and, and um unrighteous tactics that he has out for you they want you to fall into that same stuff because that makes them feel that makes them feel um like they've accomplished something by getting to do these wrong things with them and if you don't do it they feel shame like they feel like that you're not on their team and you don't want to be on these people's team because you don't want to go to the place that they're going and that's going to be the deal. Um, yeah, don't let this stuff fool you the way it looks because it's not always a good thing. Um, do not let somebody with money try to make you feel like you're not good enough because you're really good enough for God and that's all that matters. They think that their material things are what's causing them to, they think that that's really making them shine, but in, in the dark, you will notice that. Please observe the no parking regulations for the upper and lower roadways. Upper and lower levels are promoting You will notice that you will see a dark side of them today. You will see a dark side of them that they can't even see because they don't have the eyes of the Lord. They, they, have, the, they have the eyes of the devil, so they cannot see this stuff and other people can so that's the bad thing like they need to see what other people see so they can change and it's really funny because these people think that they're just doing so good because they have millions of dollars and stuff like that but in everybody else's eyes that really knows the truth about them they just don't know that they how they really look and that's funny like it's funny because you're going to be the one rising above them on the right rising above the devil so keep on following the righteous path and you will be, be happy and you will live a abundant fulfilling life do not be evil like these people because they just don't see what other people see and do not let them turn you evil because of the evilness they have in their heart just continue to be positive and um, ignore these things about them. And just, even if you do um, act out and have like a episode of some type of um, spirit, evil spirit, just just get over that spirit and get back to your regular spirit and keep doing the positive things, but do not fall into flesh, please, sins, because that is what God counts. He does not count that you get mad, but he counts what you go against in his word. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. That's all I have right now. I'm gonna be getting. I'm gonna be getting on my flight in a minute to go back home. Um, so yeah, make sure. You like Welcome to O'Hare International Airport. And For your safety, please use extra caution while loading and unloading.